Hello and welcome. This video is the first video in our API How To series and will show you how to make a call using our API using Visual Studio and an MVC project. For the purpose of this video, we're using MVC4. Firstly, create a new MVC project. We will call this project Make Call. In terms of a project template, create an empty project. If you have not yet downloaded the Cloud Call DLL from the Sineti website, you need to do this now. You will find this in the Support section under Cloud Call API or alternatively the Developer section of the Sineti website. A direct link to this file can be found in the description of this video. You now need to add the DLL to the project. Now you should have an empty project and you should have reference to the Sineti Cloud Call Objects DLL. Now we need to create a call controller. Create this as an empty NVC controller. Now you need to create some methods. Add make call. Add another method for postback. We are going to be passing in the two telephone numbers that are going to be called. One will be the CLI, this will be the number that gets called first. The second will be the CLD, which is the destination number you are calling. We will come back to this section later. We now need a view. You need to add a folder. Call this Call. From this folder, add a view. This we are going to call Make Call. We now need a postback. Using HTML begin form, this should post things back for us. We need to create a button to trigger the postback. We also need some forms to capture the two numbers to be dialed, CLI and CLD. Add inputs for both of these. We now have a view to capture the information. We can submit this view. We now need to add the code to the controller. With any Sineti API request, there are three pieces of information that need to be passed in the header of those requests. These are license key, account number and password. To make these shorter, you can read these from a config file. You can capture these from your application or any other way you seem fit. License key, account number, password. If you don't have a license key for your application, you can go to our platform and easily create one from the integrations menu. Don't forget to go to your config file and add these settings. I won't be completing this information as I won't actually be making a call, but you can put your values in here. 
Once you have this information, you need to generate the URL to make the request to. This URL will be HTTPS, as all of our requests require you to use HTTPS, forward slash api.sonetti.com. We will be making the call at account level. We will be using the calls control in the Sonetti API. We also put the account number in there. This is your complete URL. Now we need to create a call object. This object is provided as part of the DLL that you included earlier, the cloud call objects. You now need to set the account ID and CLI and CLD. Next we need to add a class called Web Request Controller that has some helper methods to make it easier to make calls to our API. You can extentiate that with the variables for the header settings. It will then pass those variables in every request. We will now tell it to make a call. Passing the URL to go to, passing the call object to make the call with, this should then make the call. To test this you can run the project. When prompted with the Make Call screen, complete the fields and press the Make Call button. Your phone should now ring. We hope you have found this video useful. Please watch our other API how-to videos. DDI